Now today we're going to learn a new stitch and it's called a block stitch and um, just this is going to be a practice square so the block stitch to start off I am um, you will chain 24 like so and then just chain one extra this will act as a chain one up and then into the next stitch okay we're just going to double crochet in we go double crochet find your loop that you want to work into for your double crochet in your foundation row so that's my first um, and I'm going to work into my top loop in my foundation um, row for this and I'm just going to work along all the way to the end double crochet as a foundation row so if you want to do that off you go and I'll meet you at the end um, and I'll show you what to do for round two. Okay, so I've come to the very last um, stitch and I'm just going to finish that off there with the double crochet. And now to start the um, next row, we introduce a new yarn. Okay, and when I introduce new yarn, everybody will have their own way, you know, um, of introducing yarn. So I literally just take the new yarn Okay, and I put it in to the loop and then you're just going to pull it tight you'll be able to tighten this now again um, in a little while okay so this that's very simple I don't have any particular skill or technique um, this is how I work mine um, and then we are going to chain two one two okay we're going to turn the work um, and in a minute now I will secure the new yarn to the old yarn with a tiny little knot because we'll be changing every second row we'll be changing color okay um, and you will see the block stitch then will start appearing okay so we have changed two we're going to skip the first double crochet which is here this is what it looks like. I've changed two. We're going to skip the first double crochet and then we are going to double crochet in the next one. And I go double crochet. Then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. That's what it looks like. I'm going to skip three stitches. One, two, three, and in. To the next one I will double crochet and I go double crochet chain three one two three open up my work count three skip them one two three work a double crochet into the next one and that's all I'm going to do along this row so this is what it's starting to look like chain three one two three hold it out one two three count them again one two three into the next one a double crochet just hold out my work there so it doesn't twist I have to count them again one two three count them one two three and in I go double crochet chain three one two three and that's all I'm going to do to the end so this is what it should start looking like okay so if you do that uh, come down to the end of the row and then we'll do this so we've come down to the end of the row if you see here now okay if I hold that out to you up there to you so this was the last the previous row double crochet okay and this was the chain two space that we made so into that chain two space we're going to put one treble looks like this and then we are going to turn our work okay and you'll change yarn then again so now it's back to the gray so I'm going to it's back to the gray so I'm going to cut it off the previous round like so I'm just going to tie a knot in it so it doesn't go anywhere 
and again don't worry about all the little even though they can be annoying you know as well um, but don't worry about them because we'll be yep, darning those in um, at the end and again it's a good idea I suppose as you're building up the block as well um, to to darn in your ends so if I look here now this is where I just finished this is where I just finished now and I'm introducing the grey back to my grey find the top of the tail there wherever it is okay here we go and just draw it through again like so pull it down into the stitch like this so this is what it looks like okay just introduced it there and you are going to chain two chain two turn it around okay now so we're going to start working back okay and then we're going to work in to the chain space okay so if I hold it out this is the first chain space here from the previous round and in to that you will double crochet double crochet like so then you're going to chain three one two three and then you will double crochet in the next chain space from the previous round double crochet and you will chain three two three in again to the next double crochet in there so if I hold it out you can see now that we're starting to repeat the pattern okay so we've in the first one we did our foundation then we created three chain double crochet by skipping then in the second round we did four trebles into the space okay and then we chained one between them and now in the round again we're just repeating what we did we're chaining three we're double crochet we are doing a double crochet into the one chain space chaining three double crochet chaining three and you're just going to work to the end again and I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do and this is just going to be a repeat process using two colors to form what's called a block stitch okay and this is just something new for our stitch library so see you at the end of this row again. now so there we are we have done our four treble into that last and um, three chain space and remember I was saying don't forget to treble finish with a treble into this space here sorry I went out of focus there for a second so that's the previous double and we then have a little chain two space here do not forget to treble into that at the end of this row so we're going to treble into that and then if you look it keeps your work even and there are all my little tails okay as we're working along so again um, I'm going to repeat myself by saying it's just a repeat row of row two and row three um, and continue going and get practicing okay I hope you enjoy that so now we have our block stitch um, square complete okay and there are all the little tails um, that need to be weaved in okay and I would recommend before you continue on to a new block if it's something that you want to make um, like you could make a little blanket now with little squares of this you know whatever colors you want yourself um, weave your ends in as you go along per block it's easier um, than leaving them to the last minute otherwise you would have you could have up to 15 blocks that you need to weave in if you wanted to make a little blanket for yourself okay so there's seven rows on this one two three four five six um seven okay as in seven block rows made in this little square and then you're just going to finish off the final row then will be um on your square one second there and i find my wool the final row will be your finishing row um, and that's just pretty much creating and edging like we did at the start okay so it'll, it'll look similar to this then okay and to do that um, and 
before you do your finishing row, the previous row that you'll have finished on will be the one with the three chain and the double crochet, okay, before your finishing row. So you chain up one, okay, like so, and then you're going to double crochet in the first chain space and your first second now my wool is just actually getting a bit knotted there okay chain up one and your first chain space is here you're going to put a double crochet like so I'll just move that scissors out of the way there and then you're going to double crochet okay into this double crochet double crochet in here all right, and then you will put, like so, you will put three double crochet in this three chain space. One, two, three, double crochet in the double crochet. And again, three double crochet. And you're just going to finish that all the way to the end second there now so this is what it starts looking like okay the edging finished row um, and then you're just going to do that the whole way along your double crochet three double crochet double crochet three double crochet double crochet don't forget to double crochet in that last one as well and then all you'll do then um, at the end of that is in here okay so you'll have put your double crochet in here and then this is the two chain space that you've been working in here you will put two double crochet to finish it and that then will give you your finished edging okay so you could you could turn it that way as well um, if you wanted to you know if you wanted to change the shape of the pattern um, when you're putting blocks together um, so just practice again those tails now will annoy you as you're you're going along um, and sometimes um, you know if you're only working with two colors um, some people will keep the wool it'll, they'll bring it up the side they won't cut cut off um, at the end of each row they will just bring work the wool the two wools up the side the whole way and then cut it off the end you will be left with tiny little kind of loop effect you know going up the side of your work um, but that would be hidden anyway when you're joining squares okay so this is just a practice um, square now to introduce you to the block stitch as I say so um, I hope you enjoyed um, that tutorial and um, when you have practice or if you're making anything um, please share on the lantern page the work that you're doing we'd all really like to see how you're all getting on at home so I hope you enjoyed that again and I'll see you all soon with a new stitch